Hello everyone, welcome back to Shorecode. In this video, I'll be teaching you about the Lambda statement in Python. By the end of this video, you'll know what Lambda is, how to use it, and the advantages of using it. Just before we get into programming, if you are new here, my name is Caleb Shaw and I post daily Python tutorials, so if you don't want to miss out on that, be sure to subscribe. Now let's get right into it. So, Lambda is used to make anonymous functions. Anonymous functions are functions without a name and the def keyword is used to define the normal functions we have been creating up until this point, and the lambda keyword is used to make anonymous functions. So I'm just going to create a lambda function and explain what is going on after I've finished writing it. So f equals lambda n colon n times 2. Print f, let's pass in 3. So Lambda functions have a syntax like this. They have the lambda keyword, followed by their arguments, which is this n right here. This is the arguments you want to pass in in your function. Then a colon, and then after this you have your expression. Let's just run it now, and we can see we get 6. Print the f function, and we're passing in 3, so n equals 3. What this is doing, it's returning n times 2, which is 3 times 2. So we're returning 6, and then we're printing out 6. So, just to make sure you guys understand, let's re just recreate this lambda function as a normal function. So define double x return x times 2. Then let's just print out double 3. And we can see we get the same result. With lambda functions, they can have any number of arguments, but you need to realise that they can only have one expression which is returned. So if you just have a very short function that only has one expression like this, you see how it's only got one expression, which is return, you should probably just use a lambda function, because they are a lot more concise and cleaner than writing out a whole function just to return a single expression. So why don't we just add some more parameters to our lambda? So let's add o, o, n plus o times 2. Let's get rid of this, and let's pass in 4 as well, n plus o, there we go. And if we run it, we get 11 because 4 times 2 is 8, and then we're adding 3 to get 11. So there you go, we can have as many arguments as you like by defining them right here. And we can also use default parameters in Lambda, so let's just do set O equal to 4, right there. Then let's get rid of our parameter here, and run it, and we get the exact same result. So Lambda functions can do as much as normal functions can, apart from that they only have one expression, which is returned. And by the way, if you are finding this video helpful and you want to support me, just drop a like on this video, it only takes one click. Anyway, to recap, the Lambda statement is used to create an anonymous function. They can only have one expression that can have any number of arguments. They should be used when you want to have a function for a short period of time, and they are useful because they allow us to write short, single expression functions more concisely with less code. Now let's take this lambda function further. We usually use lambda as an argument to a higher order function. We talked about higher order functions in the first class function video, but basically they are functions that take other functions as arguments. Lambda is often used with built-in functions that we talked about in the previous two videos, map and filter. Let's do an example with map and lambda. So let's just create a list. My list equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then let's create a variable that, which is equal to the map function. So map. And as the function, let's have lambda. Lambda x colon x times x. And then the second parameter should be my list. And then let's iterate through the map object. 4m in mapped print. Um, so if we run this, we can see we get 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So all of these items in the list have been squared. So what's happening here is we have our map function, and instead of passing in a regular function, we have a lambda function with one argument, which is x. And then in the second part, we are just returning the square of x. And when we use the map function, we are passing in each item of my list to the lambda function, and each item is x, so we are returning the square of each item. So if you would like to be taken to the next video in the series, you should click on the video on the left side of the screen, and if you would like to see all the videos in this series, then click on the right side of the screen and you can view the entire playlist. 
If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. That's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.